Okay, so the mandate of the, the POAC is a very long mandate. I just kept it just for completeness. So essentially, the idea of the POAC was to increase public interest, awareness, and awareness of uh, and understanding of astronomy. And uh, we basically try to we know that all through the country there are various groups which are doing very effective, good work. But it's obviously essential that these groups network together, get to know what they are doing, and uh, explore and participate in interdisciplinary projects promote the presence of astronomy knowledge in the public domain, create resource material that could be used to plan campaigns, etc. And uh, we also did uh, to enable translation of resource materials in uh, various Indian languages to publicly. And, uh, you know, the POEC site is a repository of this kind of uh, material, which resource material which can be used by people. The, the targets were basically primary middle school teachers, high school students, undergrads, and general public, and uh, <clears throat> um, it's just a longer list which is there on the website, you can have a look at it. And uh, so this was the basic mandate of the, the, of the POEC. Uh, <clears throat> now the first campaign which we started, so we try to do these country-wide campaigns where we network between groups, let everybody be involved in it to increase the effectiveness. And uh, the first one was the Transit of Mercury campaign in 2016. Prepared a handbook on the Transit of Mercury, publicized it, create a crowd cross map of telescope owners. And then along with various different organizations, we look towards live webcast of the transit and for multiple locations. So we actually created this, uh, sorry, we have this map over here, which actually uh, shows you that we had, a, we had about 250 events all over the country, which we network it and uh, live telecast. So approximately 75,000 people managed to see the transit through these uh, live uh, webcasts. And uh, it was a very, very, very uh, successful campaign, which was done by the POAC. Along with that, we also did on the, the occultation, there was a stellar occultation by asteroid, which we this thing. The Nehru Planetarium, that is Ratnashree, uh, they also did a festival of measurement, which was held at the Jantar Mantans in Delhi, Jaipur, Ujjain, as well as Varanasi, this was in 2016. The Z Day has been a very popular campaign that we've had because it's typically for countries only which lie within the tropics, right? So it was kind of an unexplored territory, and we've been doing that since 2017. And uh, what we actually did is we organized regional training workshops in Pondicherry in both the years, Raipur, Mumbai, etc. And basically what we did is we, this was done for science educators and teachers, so we basically showed them material, helped them develop experiments and all that related to the Zero Shadow Day, and uh, we, uh, the interesting thing that we also did with the Zero Shadow Day was that a very successful Zero Shadow Day application was developed, which is available for all Android phones. And on the base of this app, you can actually find out the Zero Shadow Day for your particular location. The app has various uh, you know, educational things also with it, which are visualizations of the Zero Shadow Day. And this app uh, is translated into eight languages. Uh, where it's Indian languages, seven English, and there's also Spanish in there because you had some Spanish groups who were interested in uh, the app. And uh, <clears throat> this, this, this has been a very good campaign because it gives very good concepts of the motion of the sun, uh, which can be done at a very simple level. We used it to also explain, this is the Nadi Valley, which is at Jantar Gantar. So we actually help uh, show people how to actually make sundials of this kind do it as an experiment with this protractor and this that. And you can also have these various experiments which are described over here. You see that the schools who basically took up these campaigns are very simple uh, government schools and not much um, equipment is required for them, so it's low cost and very easy to implement. And therefore this was also a very, very good campaign which was run, it was um, very successful. We also did campaigns for the lunar eclipse last year which was in January, which was the Bloody Moon one, and the partial lunar eclipse in July. For this also, uh, an extensive campaign was run to motivate people to see the eclipses. Again, we made an online uh, map showing all public uh, eclipse events, and uh, we worked with developers again to do apps and run a web page with resource materials, various articles for the press. And another thing which we did very strongly was, uh, you know, in today's times where rational thinking is not being encouraged so much. We actually ran social media campaign with the hashtag of Eclipse Eating and things like that. So we had about 500 public events 
that were on our interactive map. So people who were having an event, they could post their event, which was then placed onto the map, so that um, others could actually see which is the closest event to their uh, location, and they can accordingly attend whatever they would like to attend or interact with those people. We also uh, tried to do work with ASPASAT, so we um, developed uh, uh, writing significant parts of the ASPO booklet for the ASPASAT, which is available online. There was a film made, which filmed six astronomers talking about the mission. There's an FAQ, which was developed on the ASPASAT, available on the POEC website in Marathi and Hindi. I organized a Prince press conference to meet the ASPASAT astronomers in Pune. They are organized in Mumbai as well as Bangalore. And five posters were made on AstroSat, which were dis uh, you know, designed. And one can download it from the POEC site if you want to put it up in your educational you know, institute, university, school, wherever you want. It can be done with that. <coughs> we also set up the uh, AstroSat picture, AstroSat picture of the month program. So every month we actually uh, used AstroSat images to um, project the work of AstroSat. Uh, <coughs> yeah. The Delhi Planetarium also uh, did the Planetarium Sky Theatre interaction for AstroSat called Under the Stars and there was a media outreach for one year of AstroSat along with the television programs. If you're aware, Vidya and Prasad now has their own channel. So um, this is also being used by us. And since 2017, we started a web campaign on AstroSat Picture of the Month. That was the APOM which I showed you earlier. For gravitational waves also, 2015, <coughs> We had to organize the press and public event of Discovery Film India with Ayuka, extensive uh, press and electronic coverage, live tweets, and a gravitational wave special outreach hangout on Facebook, where various ASI astronomers were there as uh, panel members for the gravitational wave. Thing. Various documents also have been developed by the POEC. For example, along with Ceci Aysa Kolkata for the work that Dibbe and Hindu spoke about, we actually did a press, press release on it to publicize it to the Indian audience. Worked with the gravitational wave community again for press coverage on the event, as well as uh, AstroSat. And uh, <clears throat> there were articles written on debunking reports of harmful effects. So, yeah, this is, this is the, these are all the documents done. Neeraj has been constantly writing a lot of with, uh, articles with Science Wire. And uh, so you can have a look at those articles too. Uh, amongst the present ones also which we started on is that this is the year, rather 2018 was the year of, yeah, was the year of the 400th anniversary of actually the first telescopic ob observations from India. This was from Goa by Father, I, I can't pronounce that name, and the co-discovery of a comet by Jahangir, which is actually document, which is there in this painting, and therefore a number of public events were organized in Goa, etc. to uh, commemorate this event. There is also what is called the Bapu Khagol Mela, which is basically being run by Ratna Shri, the director of the Delhi Planetarium. And she's actually gone, so this started from last year, 20th, uh, from the 2nd October, last year, 2018. And she's already done 60 public events in 40 different places in 10 states. This is basically, um, uh, so there is this document called the Khagol Talim, which is a, uh, a document detailing the simple hands-on activities motivated by Gandhiji's writings on education and astronomy. And that is what she's been publicizing with this Kagol, Baku Kagol, Kagol Mela. The BKM events are here mapped on uh, this interactive map, like I said, the 60 events that she's already done. Actually, and it's in progress, it's still on. It's still moving, this thing. We also start doing a lot of outreach events during meetings and conferences. So at all the ASIs, we've had all these kind of events. As well as, um, there was a JETS meeting at ICTS also where ASI, or, uh, sorry, where POEC organized some stuff. And the IAU Symposium, which Deepankar spoke about, where we actually had a lot of events uh, at Jaipur, ideal because of the Jantar Mantar. So, uh, like he mentioned, it was very effective, and there were separate funds also allocated to that. Another thing we've been on to is Poxon. Poxon's grave is there in Chennai, and uh, there are being attempts done at, uh, uh, you know, so kind of like a renovation of the grave, as well as publicizing his astronomical uh, discoveries. This is being done with uh, IA as well as Institute of Black Sciences. And, uh, yeah. and there's a whole lot of other events which we are also involved in. So I'll, uh, I think I'm, I need to stop. Right. Oh, and now what we are all gearing up to is the annual solar eclipse, which is still happening in, on the 26th December 2019. These are the places which is going to be observable in India, typically South India. 
And now the new campaign, which we'll be heavily into, is the AC campaign. Again, for this, we're going to have um, an app being developed and various talks and workshops, development of experiments and measurements that can be taken during the eclipse. This is the thing that we'll be on for, which would be the end of this year. 100 years of Sarabhai, that's also what we'll be working on this year, as well as 50 years of moon landing. So these are the, uh, the typical events we are planning for. Uh, <clears throat> lessons to be learned are uh, organized outreach activities are far more effective and that's how probably how these country-wide networking events have worked so well because uh, you, you can organize it well by defining the stakeholders, the audience, the methodology, the targets and you need to reflect activities and follow-ups. This is, uh, so obviously I'd like to thank all the help from our partners, collaborators and things like that. And this is another project which, which, is, which is my project, not the, it, it is an OED project, where we are actually working with slum kids on popularizing, it's more compared to astronomy, the compromise is rational thinking. If one can just convey to them the concept of rational thinking, that's what we are planning through this Clear Skies project, which is an OED project which we work for this year, 2019. So I thank all our partners, collaborators, volunteers, and thank you.